So today I found out the work is sending me out to Wyoming to drop off a trailer. Whoever said Wyoming isn't pretty hasn't seen this. Of course, what you're seeing is a, uh, a wildlife sanctuary. So all the birds out here know they're, they're pretty safe. And I'm sure that a bunch of elk and deer and other animals are pretty safe out here too. Apparently in the early 19th century, a bunch of beaver trappers came through, left their mark on the land. So now they kind of conserved this whole area out here for the birds. Of course, all throughout uh, the area, they've got these homemade stands. And then the birds come by and, and they build their nest up there. The things are massive. And what you're seeing there is a big hawk. There's actually two of them. Let's see if I can get closer without freaking them out. But uh, they're just sitting there watching me. Oh, there it goes. The other hawk is still there. The other day I'm watching a video from Old Not Dead and uh, he saw one of these nests with a bunch of babies in it. And he was gonna send his drone up. He was afraid of the hawk taking it out because one was flying around him. Looks like it's flinching, getting ready to move. Hear that? There it goes. Yeah, it's a beautiful day today. It's a little chilly, but not too bad. And here it comes back. I'm buzz the tower. Hey, right, where'd it go? There it is. I wonder what would happen if I got closer to the nest. If it would totally freak out or not. Probably shouldn't get closer. Yep. That's it. And there's, there's another one down there. There's another one like another half a mile down the road. And now, back in Idaho. I don't know what that guy's doing. Just hanging out at the border. Good times. We're 67 miles away from the big city of Idaho Falls. That right there is uh, Palisades Lake. Still frozen. And here's the Palisades Dam. It uh, used to be able to drive across it until... Uh, bunch of morons went and took over some planes and crashed them into a couple buildings in New York. Now you can't drive across it. Kind of a bum deal. But right up in here, this is where I hung out for a week to try and find some elk. And failed. Kind of a bum deal. Usually there's some ice fishermen out here. Nothing today. Of course, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust myself on that ice, to be totally honest with you. You probably uh, sink in it now. Here's the other side of the dam. You can see the, the water actually shooting out down there. Goes on down the river. Looks like there is one boat out there. Looks seen through the fence there. I don't know if that's a fishing boat or if that's... Uh, the uh, fish and game, because they'll patrol these waters and nail anybody who's fishing without a license. It's pretty serious. I'd love to be able to fly my drone out here, but they do kind of frown on flying drones over uh, government stuff. Bummer. Of course, it is pretty windy today too, so I'm not really going to go and send my drone up and have it out there somewhere. And it's not like I can get it, being that it's uh, completely sealed off by barbed wire fence. Oh well. 
Of course, for those of you who come on to my, my uh, live streams, you know that we try and keep it PG-12. So, I feel like i kind of been failing you every time I say the damn. So here's the damn store. Welcome to the damn store. When you cuss, think of us. Is that really cussing? Am I not keeping this PG-12? I apologize to all of you. Welcome to the darn store. Earlier I showed you the darn. It's just right there. And this is the darn store. So when you curse, think of Earth. I don't know. That that's that's all I got. That's the darn store. I'm trying to keep it PG twelve. <laughs> and not far from the darn store is just a beautiful, beautiful waterfall. Look at that. It's so hard to believe that something that looks so tropical is uh, right here in Idaho. Just uh, not that far from Idaho Falls, in fact. And then right, right on the other side of this waterfall here is a little cave. I'd hike down to it, but the ground is still pretty wet. And I might not be able to make it back up. I visited out here uh, last year when I was up here hunting. I just decided to come check it out again and show you what it looks like this time of year. Purdy, ain't it? And speaking of Purdy, right down the street from that waterfall is this, uh, well, basically it's a, it's a rest stop. They kind of talk about the forest here, and I'm, I'm thinking that wasn't a hawk I saw. I think it was an osprey. Looks similar to a hawk, I guess. We've got cutthroat out here, and then these are really cool. They are everywhere out here. Bald eagles, or the Haliacetus laucophallus. Everybody knows that. They can grow an impressive three feet in height. Crazy. They don't get a full white head until the age of five. Wow, and they get a wingspan of six feet and weigh up up to 2,000 pounds. Oh my gosh. That, that is one mass. Oh. Correction. They build nests that reach six feet up to 2,000. Can you imagine a 2,000 pound eagle? That'd be ridiculous. Jeez. So there you have it. Just a small smidgen of what is around me. Just beautiful Snake River, cool birds, beautiful mountains. The only problem is, is a lot of that is just kind of... It's, it's about a oh, half hour, 45 minutes away till you get to the pretty stuff. We're in the plains where they make the potatoes. It's flat there. You would think that they would have built a, a town up against the mountain so you get a view of the plains. They didn't. They built the town away from the mountains. Makes sense. Unlike every other town that focuses on the mountains. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully you thought that uh, that little smidgen of Idaho and littler smidgen of Wyoming was pretty. If you ever feel like coming to visit us, let us know. That would be awesome. Cool? Cool. So make sure to give this a thumbs up. All right, we'll see you later. Bye.